Hey y'all, we're here. <laughs> we're back at Epcot once again. I promised I would go other to other theme parks and I swear I am this week. It might rain, but I'm gonna do it, I swear. But today we are heading straight inside. It is currently 544 and I'm so excited because Finally, we will have some more daylight. Yeah, I'm wearing my bucket hat, finally. So today's video is all about my festival favorites, flower and garden festival favorites. You know, your girl love alliteration. So I'm gonna be trying to eat every single one of my favorite things today so I can show you guys, give another big description, and just so you guys can kind of look out for things um, at different booths since there is such a wide variety of foods. Just keep in mind that these are my opinions and my taste buds and my allergies so don't take it like take it with a grain of salt basically so let's head on inside flower and garden I mean just look at her she is stunning all we need is the monorail to come by now oh and I spoke too soon she's beautiful okay let's run to world showcase so a really quick fun fact these flowers are these like beds of grass slash leaves on the lake right now don't have any flowers oops but as you can see there's like this whole sheet of flowering all across here so these will actually bloom throughout the season so this season is the longest season flowering garden has been going on it's till july 4th i think um, and so these little patches of grass will actually bloom as the season goes on. So like right now they're pretty green, but toward the end of Flower and Garden, they'll be beautiful and filled with flowers. Isn't that really cute? Also to keep these fresh, they, I heard, is that they re like take them out and replace them like very often, like replant them with new ones. And they always have ones on standby. For example, of the famous topiaries, they always have a second one on standby and some of them take up to five years to grow. We got the Taco Vampiro. You can literally never go wrong with this. It's so, 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 so good. This is so hard to do with one hand. And yes, I'm in a sweater. I get it, okay? I made a bad choice. It's hot. Why don't I just take it off? Because I've committed to the outfit already. That's why. Also, it said it's gonna get like 60s by like seven and it's six. So we'll see. Okay, here, I've got a bite. Mmm, that's so good. I gotta say though, I think more than the taco, I like the corn. Mm. It's like kind of spicy. It is spicy. Oh my gosh. It's spicy, but like a vinegar spicy. But it's so good. And it actually kind of complements the taco really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this and go to the next one i'm already kind of full so since i'm having a hard time eating all the foods i'm just gonna insert clips of foods that i've eaten um previously in previous videos into this one because i i physically cannot eat more okay so we got the pretzel this is a pretzel somehow yeah this is the strudel. Oh my god, it looks so good. It's just cheese strudel with some berries. This has cheese and what else does it have on it? Uh, ham. Ham. Like ham. And then we got the beer flight. So let's try all this stuff. I don't think I got any cheese filling, but here's my bite. The berry compote tastes so fresh chef's kiss from me there's some jam on it so but look at how <laughs> thick that pretzel is there's some ham and then some cheese on there too converted it to a sweet and salty pretzel Let's try it uh-huh mmm kind of salty like really salty but it's really good okay we just got arepas from Ilia Fresca Ilia Fresca yes so let's try them. I don't think they have beans. I'm gonna try the queso one first. That'd be easier. Mm, I mean, it's pretty basic. Corn flour and cheese. Not bad though. The chorizo one is good too. It's like peppers. It's a little bit spicy. It's a nice savory piece. 
if you've had like a bunch of desserts around the World Showcase. Next we're here in France. I forgot what the France Pavilion is called. But I'll put it on the like the video right now. And this is the beignet. This is so amazing. The inside, well, I'll just eat it and tell you guys. The top of this is like a caramelized sugar. So the inside has like this ice cream thing in it, right? But it's not sweet at all. Like, it tastes good, but it's not sweet. If you just try it by itself, it almost needs like the caramelized sugar on top because the inside of this is not sweet. It's not bitter, but it's just not sweet. Now the top of the beignet, the caramelized part, is actually really really nice so like it adds just a little bit of sweetness it doesn't like overwhelm it so that's why this is one of my flower and garden faves okay y'all i just finished with the beignet honestly i'm literally dying and it's only been two food booths i'm gonna head over to the stand kind of at the entrance of the world showcase there is a violet lemonade thing that's amazing so i'm gonna get that let's head over and get the violet lemonade milk lemonade milkshake no the violet lemonade also in case you were wondering where i am i am here in france there's like this little area so like in the middle of the bridge you see these people walking they're walking up the bridge toward canada there is like a little staircase down that you can sit here and then there's also a staircase down even more that you could like stand and sit there it's really nice to like go and eat your food there from france or just hang out because france is so incredibly crowded and this place is literally dead so it's nice to know that there's a place to hang out other than that crowded area with the fountain. All right, here's the Violet Lemonade. Okay, not me listening to Spotify. Just chilling here. Don't hate me. I love the ambience, but there's so many people right now. Um, here's the Violet Lemonade. It's not alcoholic. It's just lemonade. Violet. That's basically it. It tastes like um sour from the lemonade so it tastes like a good like fresh lemonade but then it do you have like sweetness from like a raspberry but i think why people like it is one it's frozen two it's not too sweet so it's like just like a perfect mix of like the tanginess from the lemonade and then the sweetness from the violet raspberry i don't know it kind of tastes like a little bit like raspberry to me okay i got two more of my last favorite things the hash so it's got these like parmesan or like cheese crisps, a poached egg, and then like brisket, I think. I don't know. I literally can't figure out, but it's just really good. And then obviously the Fruit Loop milkshake is amazing. Okay, so I don't know what the heck I touched. Oh, it's leaking, that's why. Well, it's leaking grease and it like went all over my freaking finger. Anyways, okay, so this is the um, fruit with milkshake. It's super sweet, but it's so good. I would highly recommend. But it's so good. So the last time that I had this, I had this one time before, and it was not this like oily. So I wonder if I don't know, but. It's super oily this time, so I don't think it's as good as the first time that I had it. But other than that, I would still recommend this. Just cross your fingers that you don't get it on like a super oily, greasy day. The bucket hat had to come off. It was too windy and had too many things in my hands. It would have ended very badly. I'm gonna finish eating this and then we're gonna head into the gift shop. Okay, y'all, we did it. It was... $27 and then I got my AP discount so it was like 23 bucks. I did the online, the in-store checkout. So honestly, this is super helpful and I would highly recommend using it if the line is super long or just in general, if you can if you can find signal. I kind of walked around the store a bit to find signal. Um, but you basically just buy it on your phone with Apple Pay or whatever you have. You can even enter your card information. Then you just go up to someone that they have like these like, designated like cast members waiting and then you just show them your barcode that you get afterwards and then that's it. You can just leave. You can put it in a bag for you if you want. I didn't want to waste a bag. Oh, and I wanted to say the Violet Lemonade drink was courtesy. The Violet Lemonade and the milkshake, the Fruit Loop milkshake, was courtesy of my friend Farah because I told her I was coming to Epcot today. She's one of my close friends and um, she just Venmoed me 
ten dollars and was like, treat yourself. I was like, oh my god, that's so sweet. So thank you, Farah, for giving me ten dollars for buying me two drinks or um, buying me half of a tourist tumbler. I'm gonna head home now. As you know, this is the outro area for Epcot because I've been here literally so many times now. Next place I'm going to is Animal Kingdom. This was a productive day today. I definitely learned how much I can and cannot eat by myself. I had so much fun. It was so nice to just like run over here after work because it's just like the music, the vibes, like the scenes, everything. Even though it's like a little bit busy and we didn't get to go on rides, like I still had just such a good time. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Um, to Flower and Garden once again. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. I hope you guys are able to come out and enjoy. Let me know if you do. Let me know if you've already come and if you tried some of the stuff. Let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, do it anyways. I won't hate you, don't worry. So again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and a magical month and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.